Hello folks, it's Gab and Dad. It's the middle of a steamy, hot summer. Last night we went to see Cowboys and Aliens. Gabrielle, would you like to tell the viewing public what that film is about? He's the cowboy, I'm the alien. Right. Uh, Cowboys and Aliens is a um, high concept, I guess you'd say. What does that mean, high concept? Well, it means sort of very specific, um, somewhat like a unique concept. Everything hinges around, it's a western, and aliens come in, that's sort of yeah. the, the yeah, you can imagine, crux of You can the, imagine the elevator pitch. The point. It's cowboys and Indians, except the Indians aren't Indians, they're aliens. And there's Indians too. Yeah, there are Indians. <laughs> so it's the Wild West, and uh, things are unfolding in a typical Wild West fashion in some small town. Um, and meanwhile, there's a, a, a gent who wakes up in, in the middle of the desert. He has no idea who he is. He's got this strange thing on his wrist. You've seen the uh, previews. And um, he goes into this town, and subsequently the town is attacked by some sort of uh, alien, otherworldly um, ship, you know, presence. But uh, this being, uh, I mean, that in that time period, they didn't even have a concept as we do. Not we know what aliens but... are like because we've seen them all over in the movies. <laughs> yeah, and at work, and yeah. um, so I mean, the idea of an alien attack. I mean, they don't know what the heck it is. You know, demons. What can it be? But they pretty quickly, because it's that mentality of the Wild West, sort of saddle up to defend their town, and townspeople are being. Um, abducted quite swiftly, they don't know what's going on or why, but quite quickly kick into this sort of defense and save our people mentality. Uh, this um, It brings them together, it brings what, people who were good guys and bad guys and, and cowboys. The and sheriff and the yeah, criminal. Yeah, they all join together. The cowboy and to, the Indian. To fight these strange beings. And from the point of view of kind of structure, concept, plot, it's a very simple movie. You know, it's, it's, these aliens are bad, everybody else is good. The good. title sums it up. Yeah, this, yeah the, t the title, all, all you need to know is in the title. And it's almost like a kid came up with it, I said to you, in a good way and a bad way. It's like, you know, that, that youthful, uh, you know, um, boy probably who's like, yeah, if we could get the cowboys and the alien, and that sort of... Or you can imagine the movie, you know, the, the meeting in Hollywood yeah. when they were discussing this, and some guy says, I've got an idea. Cowboys and aliens. But the best uh, idea that happened in Hollywood was the casting. The the guy who wakes up who doesn't know who he is is Daniel Craig, and uh, very good. He's very good. Who, who's he? Is a great cowboy. Let me yeah, tell you, excellent cowboy. And and he's sort of the, the strong, silent, sinewy type. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's all about alliteration. And he's sort of the well, he's the bit of the unknown quantity. And then you've got Harrison Ford, who's the surly rancher. I mean, he's not a bad guy, but he's sort of the 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 gruff. Yeah. The sort of the, the the unspoken leader of the town, um, the elder, if you will, and uh, they have a sort of a grumpy old man bromance kind of a relationship. Uh, you know, they have to work together and all that uh, hoo ha, and uh, they make a great team. Yeah, but they there, really made it. There's a lot of cliches in this film too, like you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, like Harrison Ford's Indian employee who's really like the son he never had, or and all that. There's stuff. a lot of it's very corny. Uh, there's a lot of eye rolling, but I think that their their tone was purposely tongue-in-cheek. I, I mean, I think that's part of it. I agree. So you can't hold that against it. What would you hold against it? Um, on the whole, I found the film quite enjoyable. It was quite entertaining. Uh, quite entertaining. I think that I have perhaps two, and I, I agree with you, Daniel Craig and Harrison Ford were excellent. Very they well, really made it. Very Without well them... Yeah, it was, particularly Daniel Craig. I, I really liked him in this film. My two objections would be as follows. One is, standard objection, too long. <laughs> It's over two hours long. It could have they could have cut twenty minutes out of it, mm -hmm. particularly towards the end, where it's a very long, confusing kind of fight scene, uh, and they would have lost nothing and gained. In fact, they would have gained quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the plot is kind of sloppy. I, I mean, I know you can't take this film too seriously, and, and I don't. But there was a lot of kind of, huh? You know, <laughs> you know why? I like, almost you know, wanted more, I, huh? Like, my <laughs> criticism of the story would be too simple. I almost I wanted a little bit more, uh, something yeah. a little bit more interesting. The reasons, the answers as to why this and why that were just a little too weak for me. Well, they didn't really exist in many cases. You just had to, yeah. take, a, you just had to take on faith, for example, of the fact that these aliens really needed gold. Like, now what? Is that a spoiler? I hope that's, that's not, not a spoiler. A spoiler. <laughs> that's not a spoiler. Why they need well, to go? Why it was never. Why do any of us need gold? Well, I mean, actually, there's one one of the good lines in this Harrison Ford when they when it's explained to him that they're here for gold. He says, "Gold? What do they need gold for? They want to buy something." I mean, 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, there's definitely sort you got to let that go, but it makes up for it in other areas. I want to mention the effects. I thought the effects Excellent. were really good. The aliens are actually really good. And how many aliens have we seen and people? And by now? Are, We've the seen spaceships lots of are good too. The, the ships and the aliens. Excellent spaceship. Have to give them credit for that. You, you, you're seeing something that was really well done and that you haven't quite exactly seen before. True. Um, and I liked that. So I think that the sum of the parts make it a very entertaining summer film. Um, a classic by no means. Um, Oscar winner. Don't think no, so. But, but good, good fun, a good, a good fun, a good movie to go and see on a hot, steamy, sultry <laughs> summer night. Especially with Daniel Craig. Yeah. Cut. In chaps. Um, no, dads. Oh, dads, right. Then cut. Then cut. I would give it three and three quarter dads. That's exactly what I'd give it. Three and three quarter gabs. Cowboys, aliens. Cut. <laughs>